So these are the resistors that we took some data about. Now we can work out the resistance by using the equation that says R is equal to V divided by I. So we can look at the total resistance of that first resistor just on its own by using this value here, which is 2.68, dividing it by 0.26 to find that the resistance of this was equal to 10.3. And if we do the same for this resistor, it was 2.67 divided by 0.25, which was 10.7. Okay. And if we actually peel off this small bit of tape, we can see that both of these resistors are 10 ohm resistors. Okay. So that should mean that whatever the current or potential difference going through them, they should have a fixed resistance of about 10 ohms, which they do. Now, we, when these were added in series, we can see that 21.2. So as we had these in series, we effectively added their individual resistances together to get a higher resistance of 21.2, which is a bit like 10 and 10 is 20. When they were in parallel though, we had 2.46 divided by 0.47. And these are just the values that I chose when I paused the video and looked at the readings. And this gives five, Point two. So actually when these resistors are connected in parallel, their combined resistance goes down. And actually it goes down by about half. So rather than being 10 individually, together we half that to make 5. So that's some data that we took. Um, and I've got my total resistances here. And we can see that as we add things in series, their combined resistance increases. But when we add them in parallel, their combined resistance decreases.